Excuse me, do you know how Hey, what's up? What's going on? Hey, what's up? Uh, can I get your opinion on something real quick? Um, sure, but it has to be quick. My Uber is coming. Yeah, yeah, all good, all good. Just listen to this and tell me what you think. What, are you like an artist or something? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm gonna play it right now. You're a piece of shit. No one cares if you go missing. You could jump right off a bridge, and the world will not be different. Cause you're just a waste of space. No one likes you anyway. Fuck your therapy, you'll never be okay. Shut the fuck up! Hey, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, well, that was entertaining. So I went through uh, five years of really, really bad times. Five years of bad depression, drinking to uh, self-soothe, to forget about um, my issues almost destroyed me. That's why I got the AA symbol right here. While I was a miserable person, I smiled. I was funny. I said I said the right things. I hid it. And uh, I would I said to myself, I'd never be so selfish as to kill myself, but at my worst moments, I was wishing for death. Please, Lord, just give me cancer so that I don't leave this world as a cop out. Please let a meteor fall on my head, something like that. I had the saddest smile that you've ever seen, probably. Went on for years, every day. Hey guys, <laughs> funny, social, everything. No one ever knew my despair, my my downfall into alcoholism to to deal with. Because uh, I guess I didn't have didn't know how to deal with life. Um, and my conscience in those dark times were really killing me. And uh, every day I'd get out of bed after sleeping all weekend off. I'd get up just to go to work, you know. I'd sleep, 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 just sleep it off. And when, I, when I'd when awake and hung over, I just, just wanted to get back. To drinking because now I had to deal with life plus a hangover and just wanted to enter oblivion, I guess. It's amazing that I was still functional at work, but I, I pulled it off, right? But yeah, um, I was suffering. Now, there there was a, a weird thing that happened with me was that I, I didn't realize, I guess it's just my temperament. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pleasant person. I don't like conflict. So I'd put on a big smile, you know, get out of bed and put that facade, that mask that that I, I was like, well, you know, I got to present something. And I knew what was supposed to be presented and it was all a show. And when people would, you know, point little things out, pick at me, you know, uh, I'd be shattered like a frail little snowflake because deep inside when they'd point something out about me, my flaws, I knew that I was living a bubble, living basically a facade. So if somebody would come with their little needle to pop my, pop my little bubble, it was, it was, I was living a lie. And if, and there wasn't me and then me living a lie. Like I was the lie that I was living. And uh, if somebody would criticize me, I'd be completely destroyed. 
my facade was broken and uh that would just lead to like more drinking not to deal with those painful emotions yeah so when i finally got got sober after hitting rock bottom believe me but there's always a worse rock bottom for those who don't learn their lessons from the first rock bottom because there's always death guys you could always die just like this uh nice gentleman pointed out in his uh very catchy song you know if you die no one would know the difference i don't know what the guy was uh trying to to prove probably looks smart but he fell upon a girl and she was she was putting on her brave face and uh he he said the perfect he just said the perfect words right and just made her break down when i was a total effing mess i was exceptionally nice to people for two reasons one, I kept on telling to myself, well, you know what? I'm putting on a smile. I'm being sociable. I'm being funny. And I want to die. I really wanted to die. And when people, uh, when I would screw up if I drank too much and people would point out how much of a loser I was at that moment, it would destroy me. It would level me. I was leveled because I knew my conscience knew that, well, they're right. You're not helping yourself. Anyways, I got my stuff together. And uh, for me, uh, I became a Christian and my life changed. This ain't, this ain't a Christian message. This is a message to tell you guys that there are some people out there that might look strong, but inside they're dying. There might be some funny guys, some nice guys and girls. When I say guys, I mean people. To a certain extent, everybody gets up out of bed. Looks in the mirror sometimes. And drives in that daze, in that circular prison that they're in. And when they arrive, hey man, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good, good. Yeah, another day, another dollar. Hey, how are you, man? Oh, nice to meet you. Thanks. All right. My name is Jason. Whatever you like, man. And a lot of people just want to die. A lot of people are struggling especially uh, in this uh, society. People are not taught the tools of digesting upset, crisis, pain, sorrow. Anyways, I'm sober now. I'm a better and stronger person. But I'll tell you one thing. While I was really messed up, you wouldn't have known. I put on a nice, good mask and I was funny and I was, I was actually pleasant. In fact, I was, I was so pleasant that I, I'd still be pleasant even if you are an asshole to me. Because I was so fragile, I was screaming, please, please love me. Please love me. Not realizing maybe that, you know, I needed a lot of love from other people because I didn't love myself at that moment. Anyways, when, once I, I took care of business, got sober... My conscience returned. I started uh, living for Christ. That's my specific thing. And uh, everything got better. And now I, my foundation isn't built on the sand where the evening tide can come every evening and just wash it away. I had a solid foundation. That's why when I saw this video, I said, you know what, I'm going to make a video because 
You never know. You never know what people are going through. So anyways, that that's that's what that video brought brought out of me. It was remembering that even though while I was suffering, wishing for death, I was still a pleasant person. And I used to say, Jason, if you're this, if you're suffering this much every day, going to the work with a smile, you better be nice to people because you, you have no idea what kind of person has the saddest smile you've ever seen. So I was always nice. And that was just the direction that I got. Maybe it's the direction that got me out of that horrible situation. And hey, what an idiot saying that online. People could maybe use that against you. I'm not ashamed. I don't mind. My, my, my weaknesses, my faults, I offer them to the world. <laughs> Never said I was perfect. But just remember that if you're suffering, you're not alone. And uh, if you're not, maybe uh, you should go around, you know, spreading love instead of that bull crap. Yeah, that video really hit home. I think that uh, that girl's cry was, was genuine. It's a cry that, I, that, that I've had in the past for a long time while I smiled put on my mask. <laughs>